Well, guys, it's Kieran or Killer Kids HD, and guess what, guys? We won a game! Yes! We won a game! Oh, I'm so happy we won a game! We so, I'm so happy! We're 15th in the table, but let's speak about that in a second because I've got to play that bassy intro. <laughs> Look, there's three green wins! Oh, it's so beautiful. We've won three games, we've lost three games, but let's talk about the win first. We won 2 0 at home to Crawley Town at the Field Mill, the One Call Stadium, whatever. We won 2 0. Stephen Hewitt scored from the penalty spot in the 73rd minute to give us the lead, and Adi Yusuf scored to the 76th minute to give us the, the win. We deserved it. We were more clinical on the day. Look at the possession stat. We bossed it. We absolutely bossed it. Unbelievable performance by the lads and then we lost. Yeah, it happens. We lost 3-2 um, to Luton Town. Uh, they played really well Luton Town. I will give them all the credit in the world. They're our rivals, but they, I'll give them credit. They played fantastically. Matthew Young scored the only on the fourth minute to give them the lead, but Devaran Green also scored in the 60th minute to make it 2-0. 65th minute. Mikhail Smith, Craig Mikhail Smith made it 3-0 and I thought, wow, well, this is just been bugging up in it, so I went a bit more attacking. Matt Green scored in the 72nd minute to make it 3-1. Craig Westcar scored in the 87th minute to make it 3-2 and that was the game. We got very close at the end of the game, 19 minute highlight and it was just hit the bar, which is a pain in the ass, but you know, it happens. In the next game, we were at home to Plymouth and we won again! Yes! We won again it was beautiful. Stephen Hewitt has got another penalty to make it 1-0 on the day. Josh Harrop came out after half time into the highlight and scored. Uh, to make it 1-1. Jordan Jones come out of nowhere though in the 55th minute, like an RKO to make it 2-1. 20, uh, 20 shots for Plymouth, 7 shots for us, uh, they were better, and we stuck, We basically stole this game to be honest with you. We we just stole this game. Jordan Jones had a fantastic game getting an assist and a goal. Callum McFadden did get an assist as well in this game. We were just very lucky, and I feel like we didn't deserve the win. We could have, I probably would have been happy with a point. But three points, I'll take it. And then we won again. Oh, this is great. I love the wins, man. Matt Green scored in the seventh minute to make it 1 0. Michael Tong, Christ, remember him? Former Sheffield United player, isn't he? Well, see, how do I know he's a Sheffield United player when he's played for all the other clubs that are stoking on that? Yeah, former Sheffield United player, but scored in the 44th minute just for half time. Made my talk a little bit harder to make it 1 1. Uh, Matt Green scored the 60 second minute though, to make it 2 1. And that's how the game ended. Um, they came out in the second half and played much better. The 56% possession is literally just simply because, you know, we played really well on the possession game and in the second half they had a lot of shots and it, well, I think they must have had shoot on sight on or something because, oh, wow, my phone went off in the background. That's so professional, guys, you know, so professional. But they had 13 shots, we had 6. They took more shots and, you know, not many of them were on target. I think the shooting site was on. And then we got a dicking. Yeah, we got Sir Dicking here as we lost 3 0 to Dagenham and Redbridge. Possession, we took it. Shots, they absolutely demolished us, really. Goals from Matt Richards and George Gomez, or I don't know, I'm going to call him George Gomez. I like the sound of George Gomez. Yeah, he just they dominated us from the get go. Nothing I could do here. And then we um, lost 3 2 to Burton Albion in the Johnson's Paint Trophy North, second round. Um, I really thought we were going to win this game at some at one point, I tell you. Nathan Thomas scored in the first minute, I think it was like 23 or 28 seconds to make it a 1-0 to Mansfield and I was so pumped, but then you know, 14th minute, Jerome Sinclair, Liverpool Loney scores to make it a 1-1. And then they got a red card, Robbie Weir got sent off in the 45th minute just before half time and this is where I start, got, start to get a bit excited, you know, we're a bit more attacking. And then Jerome Sinclair got, scored again and then Callum Riley scored and then I thought, right, bugger this, what is going on? They're down to 10 minutes. I know in the League One reference, but what the hell is going on? So I went more attacking. Sondre Tronstad scored in the 82nd minute, and that was it. That was it, really. Jordan Jones had another phenomenal game, but I'll give Burton credit. They did perform better without, you know, the 11th of man, to be honest with you. Jerome Sinclair had a fantastic game as well. So that's the fixtures in terms of what we're looking like. We're only in the FA Cup now. We're obviously, we're at the Capital One Cup after we lost to Burnley. We lost in the second round to Burton Albion. We're currently 15th in the league. Three wins, four draws, four losses. At the bottom, you've got Crawley, Town and Barnet up at the top of the table. Your Oxford United, Stevenage, Exeter, Portsmouth, Notts County, Plymouth and Yeovil. We actually beat Stevenage. Their three losses are one from us, so, you know, I'm just saying. It's huge. That is absolutely huge for us. We also Plymouth as well. Um, so today's game is against Newport County, but we actually have an emergency loan to speak about. Joshua Webb has joined the club from Aston Villa on a three month loan. He is basically an emergency loan in because I'm really worried that 
our right back is going to get injured. We had a lot of injuries in the past, like before the after the last game, we've had a lot of injuries. They're starting to come back now, you know, they're feeling a bit better. Mitch Rome's on the way back now, which is nice. He just needs to um, get some match fitness. Um, you know, players like Callum McFadden is knackered. Jordan Jones is knackered after going for international duty. All like that. So I brought him in. I don't know if he'll play today. It's because Liam Marsden is still there as one of our best left right backs and he's up and coming as well. So I can't afford to not use him. We've actually changed the 4 2 3 1 a bit as well. We've changed the instructors to go more direct, play our defense, play wider, and prevent short goalkeeper distribution. We're going to do a quick pick and see what they want to go with. And I'll be back in a second to start the side. So this is the side I think I'm going to go with today. We're going to have Brian Jensen in goal, Liam Marsden at right back, and Mal Benning at left back. We've got Ryan Tapazoli and Matty Young in the centre back spots. On the midfield, we have a ball midfielder in Stephen Hewitt. He's been fantastic this season for us, even though you know nothing's been going our way. He's been very good. Adam Chapman is going to be playing as the advanced playmaker in the midfield. We've got Matt Green as an attacking winger, Reggie Lamb on the left hand side, and Chris Clements as the attacking midfielder. Craig Westcar starts up front on the bench. We have Scott Shearer, Joshua Webb, Lee Collins, and Nathan. Thomas, Jack Thomas, Matty Blair, who's finally back from injury, which is fantastic. He's not made an appearance, and hopefully he can make one today to get that match fitness up. And finally, Adi Youssef. Tom Leggett has finally run the way back. He's got 79 fitness, 73 match fitness. He's played under 21 games. He's finally on the way back, ladies and gentlemen. That's enough from our team. Let's go and have a look at the Newport County side. Wow. A 5-3-2 with wingbacks. Okay, let's have a look at this. Then they've got Fusler and Bowden up front with Butcher. Is that Matt Butcher from Billy Bournemouth? I tried to loan him the git, and he said, oh, wow, that's a nice hand, isn't it? They've got Matt Butcher, Lauren, and Bryn. They've got Tumasi and Ralph as the wing-back, and Parcelli, Partridge, and Holmes as the centre-backs, and Day in goal. On the bench, they have Taylor, Taylor. Yeah, I said that Taylor twice because there is two Taylors on the bench. Alito, Simpson, Owen Evans, Paolo, George, and Aaron. Is that Aaron Hughes? No way. Andrew Hughes. Okay, I was going to say. That's Aaron Hughes. I was going to go mental. But that's the side. And let's go and have a look at the game. Let's go and watch it. Let's see who's going to win. I really hope we can pull off like a 1 0 win in this game and try to push up the table a bit more because it would be lovely if we can get another three points. Newport County have kicked off this game. And to be honest. They, uh, where are they, in 12th with 16 points. I don't know about this game. They could come out of nowhere, this Newport County side, but we could also come out of nowhere considering the form we're on. We're on a very uh, bouncy run of form, you know, losing and winning and drawing everywhere. I think we might get the win here. I've got a sneaky suspicion that we might get a winner as Matty Green plays down the right-hand side. Can he get a ball in? He can. But it's intercepted. Ralph gets a tackle by Green. Clements to Stephen Hewitt. Matty Green puts on the right-hand side to Liam Marsden. Can he whip in the ball? He puts it outside the air to Adam Chapman. To Stephen Hewitt, back out to Marsden. Can he get a ball in? Marsden whips it into Matty Green. In the ball into Reggie Lamb. And it's off the side netting. It's a goal kick. Very close. Day with a goal kick. Gets it as far as Chapman who heads it down to Green. Can we get another pass away? He gets the back to Adam Chapman, to Stephen Hewitt. But do you know what? I've been really want to try and start, sign Stephen Hewitt on a on a permanent transfer when it comes down because he's been fantastic. Reggie Lamb, Reggie Lamb, Reggie Lamb. Oh, ref, call a penalty there, mate. Bryn to Fuster. Matthew Young makes a huge tackle. The reason we lost to Burton Albion was because of Matthew Young, by the way. He made a really big error in the final goal. Really pissed me off. Reggie Lamb. Gets a pass to Stephen Hewitt, he's on fantastic form. Reggie Lamb again, puts it up to Mal Benning, whips it in. Oh, Run. save makes a, wow, Day makes a save. But Matt Green makes the goal, and it is 1-0 to Mental Town. We move up to 12th, that is a huge goal in our season. Reggie Lamb puts the ball to Mal Benning on the left-hand side, whips it in, and Day just tries to save it, and Green takes uh, the opportunity to score here. I don't, know, I don't know how to describe that goal. He whips the ball in for a cross, the keeper tries to catch it, dives for some reason, and then Green scores. It's a bit of a weird one, isn't it? But look at the stats. The way we've reorganised this tactic seems to be working a lot. We're getting a lot more We're getting a lot more possession. Shots are coming far, few and far between. And we're getting goals, though, which is nice. Stephen Hewitt on the ball now. Gets a pass to Chris Clements. Can he get a pass away? He gets the red west car, and it goes wide. Matthew Green has picked up an injury. Our, our big striker who got the goal. Um, he's playing as a winger today, he actually got injured, so what we're going to do, um, can Reggie Lamb play better as a left back, or like left midfielder or right midfielder, because I know what I want. Matty Blair, mate, or Nathan Thomas, oh, we're play do you know what, Matty Blair, you get your ass in this game, why the bloody hell not, Matty Blair, mate, do it, do it for the kids, I don't know, do it for the kids, I don't even know, mate, go on, Matty Blair, you're back on from injury, you've been gone for ages, make yourself known in this side, mate, go and bloody do that for me. And it is half time and it is 2-0, and I'm going to be honest, we are playing pretty bloody well. I'm pleased how things are going, go and keep it up, lads, but look at the fitness, 
look at the fitness. We're not doing too well. Changes are going to be coming very quickly, I think. Chris Clements will probably be coming off at some point, and maybe if I look around, maybe the ben, uh, maybe the, myth, um, the defender, sorry. Tough as always, not looking too healthy at the moment uh, in terms of fitness. Maybe uh, Stephen Hewitt. I don't know. We'll get into the second half. We're playing fantastically. We, I think we deserve the win at the moment. But as we know of FM... Uh, that doesn't happen. It just doesn't matter if you deserve the win. That's not going to happen for you. Reggie Lamb cannot whip a ball in. That is going to be the highlight. Caught, um, free kick whipped in. Oh, what a save by Jensen. Holmes offside. That was very close. And I'm going to make my third, um, my second change in the game, sorry. Because Chris Clements is now struggling very much so. So what we're going to do is put Adam Chapman up in the advanced play. Wait, you can't play there? I thought you could play there. You played there a lot. Of, I've played in there before. Okay. Well, Jack Thomas is going to play up there. You play as an attacking shadow striker. Ooh, let's do that. Why not? Why the bloody hell not? I'd never used him as a shadow striker before. I didn't even know he could play there. Oh my word, let's do that. Dave with a goal kick gets it as far as Fusta. Young heads it to Chapman, to Stephen Hewitt, to Jack Thomas. Go on, boy, get a pass away. Go on, Thomas. Puts on the left hand side to Amasi. Intercepts Bowden on the ball now for Newport County. Puts on the left hand side to Ralph. Whips it into Fusta. And it's 1-1, and Bradley Fuster makes it 1-1, Newport County score, and we drop down to 16th now, wow, we dropped down to 16th from 11th, that's how tight this league's looking at me, and Bowden puts on the left-hand side to Ralph, he whips it in, it's a great ball, Fuster volleys it under the keeper, Jensen doesn't do anything, it's 1-1. Final change of the game, I'm going to be taking off Ryan Tafazoli and bringing on Lee Collins, and then I'm going to put Lee Collins as a... Uh, um, central defender on defend because I'm going to try and see this game I'm going to go control see if that makes anything uh, happen for us and see if we can get a second goal and try and win this game 91 minutes gone though I think this is going to be full time unless something happens here Chapman's a Reggie Lamb Reggie Lamb with a shot and it goes wide and that is going to be full time it's a 1-1 draw at the start of the day I would have taken it but I think we played well enough to say, you know, that we deserve the win. I'm going to say unlucky, boys. It wasn't our day. Newport County did, you know, come out of nowhere and score. I think we deserve the win here, to be honest with you. I think we played quite well. The shows now that the new tactics, the new the new instructions on the 4-2-3-1 are starting to work a bit. We're currently 15th now with 14 points. That's our fifth draw of the season already. We haven't got as much as New York City and Morecambe. Don't worry about that. Or Dagenham Redbridge. But... It's another draw. I really like to win. I really would have liked to win. Here are the results from all the other sides. Exeter City and second are absolutely dominating the moment. No goals this time from... Oh, no, sorry. There is goals from Tom Nichols. He's got a brace this time. Exeter City are killing it in the league at the moment. Unbelievable. Newport County are hold out for a draw. England qualify for the Euros. Okay, I don't want to know about that. Matt Green is out for four to five weeks. I... That's a big loss for the side. That is really a big loss. He's been performing quite well considering, you know, he's been doing quite well. Five goals in ten games. Not the best, but, you know, I'm taking it, to be honest with you. He's been doing all right. But that means we lose Matty Green. And as we end the episode, we'll look at the league table. We are currently in 15th with three wins, five draws, four losses on 14 points. So that's going to be it for today's episode of the Stag Do. Killikas of Stag Do. I love it. The next episode is going to be the Hartlepool United game. You're probably thinking, hang on. That's a bit weird. That's such a weird position. That's a weird, such a weird game to pick. Do you know why I'm picking this game? I am picking this game because on Saturday, the 21st of November 2015, I am going to this game in real life. So I can probably mix in some clips or some pictures, you know, of the real game. And we'll probably lose in real life because we're on um, a crappy run of form, to be honest with you. We haven't scored in four games. But I think it's a fun game to play. I know it's 42 days away and everything, but I think it's a fun game to play. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Killing Kids of Stag Do. If you did, leave a like. And if you didn't, someone in the comments down below. And I will see you all very soon for another episode of Killing Kids of Stag Do on Foot Manager 2016.